This is a GE flip number clock from the late 60s, 70s. Very good condition, although it was uh, really dusty and dirty and didn't seem to uh, want to flip the numbers correctly. So I took it apart and I blew it out with some compressed air and tested it out for a few days and it works great now. And uh, this was just a dollar at a garage sale. It sold for $30. I found this uh, canvas print of these two buffaloes facing off against each other in a uh, auction box lot. So I don't really have any money into them. They're signed Goodson, 1979. Interesting, kind of ragged edges on the canvas. And I wasn't sure how to price them. I just put them up for $50. And uh, after a few months, this one finally sold. I've got two more to go. This is a vintage isolation transformer. Uh, audiophiles are geeky over these. It, uh, besides allowing you to uh, switch to different voltages, it also uh, will eliminate any noise coming in uh, to your audio system. I don't really know that much about it, but uh, I just put it up for sale with uh, the information I had and it sold for $60. It was just part of an auction box lot. It's another Panasonic 13 inch VCR TV combo. These are garage sale finds that uh, I come across all the time. I try and test them at the garage sale because they're pretty much worthless unless the VCR works. And uh, you like to get the original remote control too. This is the way I store it. I don't pack it tape like that. But uh, this was just uh, $5 at a garage sale, and it sold for $125. This is a pair of uh, aqua aluminum saucepans that I picked up at a garage sale for just a couple dollars. Kind of funny, they're uh, marked club. Front and the bottoms. But when they sold, I noticed that, uh, I don't know, it must have been autocorrect on the uh, computer. And they were listed as Clark, but they still sold for $40. This is a Panasonic clock radio. It's got a blue LED readout. And uh, clock radio, bedside radios do well if there's just a little bit something different about them. And obviously this one, kind of a stand-up model. It's a little bit different. I had it priced at $39.99 and took an offer of $32 today. It was just uh, probably $3 at a garage sale. I've had this perhaps four months now. This is an L.L. Bean Mackinac jacket. Nice heavy wool coat and it's uh, an XXL. I got this at a uh, thrift store for $7 and I had it priced at $160 but I'd had it a long time. Lots of watchers, lots of views. I figured it would sell for my asking price sooner or later, but finally I got a message from someone. I didn't have it on best offer and they asked if I would sell it for $100. Well, I thought about it for a while and I wrote them back and I said, I'll take 125 and he bought it right away. This is a pair of Red Wing insulated boots. It's an older pair, but uh, size 13. I found these at a uh, church sale. It's $4 a bag and I was able to stuff uh, two other pairs of army combat boots in that bag as well. These, uh, it's got a shallow cut there and other wear marks, but overall pretty good shape. But I only asked uh, $40 and it only took a week to sell them. This is a pair of Carhartt brand bib overalls. They're insulated. And as you know, anything Carhartt's gonna sell. I got these over the summer and uh, people ask a lot for these sometimes, but uh, if you're always on the lookout, sooner or later you're going to find a pair for under $10. These were actually $5 and they sold for $50. Miller Lite Trucker Hat. Less filling. Tastes great. Loved those commercials when I was a kid growing up. This one uh, was just uh, probably 50 cents at a garage sale. It's got a couple of dark spots on it. I had to double check, make sure I had it listed that way and I did and it sold for $20. I had such high hopes for this tweed hat with the uh, fur pull down flaps. When I found it, I thought some hipster's gonna want this. 
Decent size, seven and an eighth. Definitely vintage, but I've had it for over a year now and thought it was gonna be part of the permanent collection and maybe I'd have to wear it myself this winter, but somebody finally made me an offer of $10 and I took it. I can't remember what I paid for it, probably two or three dollars at a church sale at the most. This is a pair of Lady Sorrel Badger winter pack boots with the wool lining, actually it's a wool blend. The boots are made in Canada and the lining on these was made in the USA. And uh, I bought these just a couple of weeks ago at a garage sale uh, in preparation for the winter and winter buying season. And they sold pretty quickly for $30. This is a Filson hat, the tin cloth, very tough. The insulated uh, interior and the ear flaps you can pull down. Made in the USA. These always sell well if you can find them. People don't like to give them up, but this one I found at a garage sale. Just a little old lady had $2 on it and sold it for $45. This is a book on CD that I received as a gift a couple of years ago, a number of years ago, actually, while I was still driving truck. But I had already uh, had this uh, downloaded onto my uh, iPhone and listened to it. It's a great book, too. The movie wasn't too bad. Anyway, so this was just a gift that I uh, resold for $20. This is an early 1980s Heath kit. Uh, four band AM shortwave radio. I found this on Craigslist from the original owner who actually put it together. He didn't have the uh, manual but I was able to uh, download, download one from the uh, internet. And uh, I paid way too much for it, but I kind of wanted to play around with it. I paid $40 for it, and I goofed around with it for a couple of weeks. Finally put it up for sale, and a little bit higher than anybody had sold one for, uh, in recent history anyway. And it sold for $125. Whenever I see old uh, stereo manuals or product catalogs, I always pick them up and I'll spend an evening just uh, watching TV and listing them from my easy chair. It's really easy to do and uh, they usually sell. It takes a while, but I had a gentleman buy these four. Uh, actually, there's two instruction manuals or owner's manuals and then two catalogs, all Sony. And uh, he paid a total of $60 for these four. And uh, they were probably next to nothing uh, from an estate sale, just out of an old box down in the basement that I'll usually uh, go through and then make an offer on the whole box. This uh, Sony CD-RW uh, computer drive, it's actually an external drive, uh, was in a $2 auction box lot. And I thought, somebody's going to want this. And sure enough, it's all brand new, never been used, never out of the box. And it sold for uh, $25.